coming up on Mountain News this morning, Governor Andy Bashir signs a couple of bills meant to support workforce development here in the state. And Kentucky State University faces a financial mess after an audit finds a host of errors that could force the school to pay up. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Well, it looks like we made it to Thursday here. I'm Dakota Makris. It is almost 5 o'clock. Let's take it over to Brandon for a look at that forecast. And Brandon, I'm glad that we're not waking up to rain this morning. Exactly. Temperatures yeah. are already going up. We're continuing to track uh, some quiet conditions, but that mm -hmm. will not be the case for too much longer. Enjoy today. Let's take a look at our Whitesburg camera downtown there, and you can see not a whole lot of action there on Main Street as we head through the first part of this Thursday morning, Friday Eve for you. Temperatures again, 40s, 50s, even some 60s out there right now. They've been going up since midnight. Still some cool spots over in South West Virginia, Clintwood and Jones will both in the upper 40s, low 60s, Irvin, Somerset and Monticello on the other end of the scale there this morning. Your day planner temperatures will soar into the upper 70s today, about 77 or 76 actually is our daytime high and we're going to continue to see a mix of clouds and sunshine with some breezy conditions today, but all that changes starting tonight. I'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Dakota. All right, Brandon, thank you. Governor Andy Bashir signed two bills into law, and he says they will support workforce development in the Commonwealth. Senate Bill 57 helps out military families who can't file, find child care on base, and House Bill 200 focuses on the nursing shortage. The governor says it creates programs to improve scholarships for high-need health care areas. To continue this economic momentum, uh, we have to uh, do everything we can to support our workforce to find new strategies and to continue to fill these growing number of great jobs. Well, there were almost 44,000 new jobs created in Kentucky last year, along with the lowest yearly unemployment rate in state history. The city of Richmond is being awarded more than five and a half million dollars. Well, the governor, governor announced that yesterday, nearly $300,000 is going to the Richmond tourism. More than 600,000 is going to nonprofits and more than $4.6 million is being allocated to utilities to update the city's sewer system and expand service. State Auditor Mike Harmon released the results of an audit of Kentucky State University yesterday. The audit looks at the university's finances within a three-year time frame from 2018 to 2021. The audit includes more than 20 findings, including poor record keeping, questionable spending, and improper accounting of millions in federal funds that could have to be paid back. The audit comes a year after Kentucky lawmakers passed a bill to earmark $23 million to bail out the university. And on President Dr. Ronald Johnson says they need to restore students and donors trust. To assure them that what we are doing uh, is um, in line with standard practice and that we have an, even in advance of of these findings uh, began to make um, a considerable uh, amount of change. The audit makes several recommendations for changes at the university and suggests state lawmakers may need to pass more laws as well. A Tennessee man is facing a list of charges after Kentucky State Police say he led them on a multi-county chase in southern Kentucky. Troopers say they were called to an armed robbery and theft in Somerset around 1030 Wednesday morning. They say 32-year-old Matthew Cole stole a black Kia Soul. They later found him on the parkway and tried to pull him over, but they say he just kept driving. The chase went faster than 100 miles per hour at times. Troopers eventually stopped Cole with spike strips. He was taken to the Adair County Jail. He faces several charges, including wanton endangerment and robbery. A home was destroyed in Harlan County during a fire on Tuesday. The Harlan City Fire Department received a call about the house fire a little after 2 p.m., the Oakland Creek Volunteer Fire Department, Sunshine Fire Department, and Everts Fire Department also responded. Well, officials say the fire damaged two nearby homes. The fire is believed to have started on the front porch. No injuries were reported. An Eastern Kentucky doctor accused of writing improper drug prescriptions was awarded $14 million in a case where he argued pharmacy companies wrongly assigned drug orders to him. A Perry County jury ruled in favor of James Dustin Cheney in his lawsuit against CVS and Rite Aid of Kentucky. Within the lawsuit, jurors found the companies knowingly or recklessly reported Cheney wrote these prescriptions when he actually did not. 
Jurors ruled this made it look like Cheney had written countless prescriptions for opioid painkillers. He was charged in 2014 with prescribing drugs illegally and ultimately sentenced to 30 months in federal prison. Well, a drag show scheduled to take place this weekend in Prestonsburg was abruptly canceled after threats of violence. The Lexington-based Open Doors Counseling Center LLC was set to host the Come As You Are drag show in Prestonsburg to raise money for its Rainbow Closet. However, the event was canceled due to safety reasons. Open Doors Counseling targeted case manager and drag performer uh, says they, they hate to see this hate happening, but it is motivating. Being from there and realizing that um, there is still so much stigma and so much hate surrounding um, the LGBTQ plus community um, is very sad, but it is also motivating. Well, they're determined to continue spreading love, encouragement and advocacy for mental health, no matter the threats. Well, thank you so much for getting your Thursday started with the Sierra Mountain News this morning. Coming up, if you have a puppy or an older dog that's young at heart, today is a perfect day to show them some extra love and appreciation. We'll tell you why when we come back. And while today looks fairly calm, conditions could get active tomorrow and tomorrow night. I'll track out what we could, what we could be looking at in about three minutes.